Good morning. Today we're celebrating the memorial uh, of St. Bernardin of Siena. It was a Franciscan who died in 1444, and he traveled all throughout uh, Italy. There's an outdoor pulpit that has an inscription about him in Viterbo, where our seminary is, the Fathers of St. Joseph's Seminary. And I spent 77, 78 school year there. Uh, he preached in a, to the respect for the name of Jesus, and he's the one that's widely spread that IHS symbol, which is an abbreviation for the Greek name of Jesus. And so that devotion to the Holy Name was very strong to, in him. Today we have two Mass intentions. One is for the et eternal repose of Becky Upton, and the other is for our parishioners of preparing for sacraments. Um, that includes baptism, confirmation, holy communion, and, and marriage. We've had to postpone some marriages. And, um, and we're so uncertain, they said 60 days, so that should be mid-July mid unless they change it. So it's really hard for people to figure out, for us to figure out what to tell the people. Um, so some have already been postponed. Um, and so for all of those people preparing for sacraments, also priesthood, um, a lot of those priests and deacons are waiting in the wings for the opportunity to be ordained because they don't want to be ordained uh, just by themselves uh, in the bishop. They want their families there. So it's a very strange time for us. Let us begin with the entrance antiphon. <clears throat> o chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Upper Virgin, all angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest Saint Bernardin of Siena a great love for the holy name of Jesus, grant through his merits and prayers that we may ever be set aflame with the spirit of your love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you, the God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions, so people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from anyone else. For in him we live and move and have our being. 
as even some of your poets have said, we too are his offspring. Since, therefore, we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all people everywhere repent because he has established a day in which he will judge the world with justice to a man he has appointed, and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them. But some did join him and became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above heaven, earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones. From the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. 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 I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us raise our voices in petition to our Heavenly Father. Let us pray for all of those um, in the church who are being prepared to receive sacraments of initiation or a vocation, uh, and those who are preparing them and standing with them as they wait. We pray to the Lord. Lord, I hear our prayer. And let us pray for our leaders, civil leaders, that they will um, truly not simply repeat their fixed opinions, but truly study and listen to the best uh, the wisest among us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for all of those who have asked us to pray for them, especially those who perhaps don't have anyone else. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And let us pray for all of those who uh, are being called to serve as ordained or consecrated persons in the church, that they will be generous in their response to God's call. We pray to the Lord. Lord, and let us pray for all of those who uh, are out of work and who somehow have not gotten those different monies uh, to help them through. Uh, for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord you know, uh, let us pray for all of those who preceded us in death at this Mass. We pray in particular for Becky Upton. For her eternal repose, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Almighty God, we ask that you receive these prayers through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the divine and work of human hands, which become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Great brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and over the world of his holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of blessed Saint Bernardine of Siena, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now do. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together then ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. 
and to the eternal <coughs> coming in. Therefore, O Lord, as we pray, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving a holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. That he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Bernardine of Siena, St. Leonard Murialdo, St. Junipero of Serra, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. <coughs> May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, <coughs> with your servant Francis, our Pope, <coughs> and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O oh, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Becky, whom you have called from this world to yourself. <coughs> Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died, and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, for <clears throat> when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes, for seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of us now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I will pasture my sheep, I myself will give them rest, says the Lord. Alleluia.
Let us pray. <clears throat> By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants to the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which blessed St. Bernardine of Siena never ceased to labor, and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. The Thanks Son so from your merit to the Alleluia. As risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray Let for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. Have a good day, God bless.